Pokemon Legends Arceus released last week, and it's incredible. Don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. I mean, for one, you can't even battle your friends, which is really weird for a Pokemon game. You can trade with them, but you can't battle them. The, the graphics are kind of dated, render distances aren't great, and to be honest, some of the systems in the game could definitely use some work. But God, I'm just loving this game. It is so good and so much fun. I've been playing Pokemon games for over 20 years. All right. I remember when I got my first Pokemon game way back in 1998 uh, or 99, maybe Pokemon Blue version. I remember the, the drive home from the store, reading through the instruction manual, excited to play it and go home and then finally to sink hours into it. I'm my little, of course, blue uh, Game Boy Pocket. And I just fucking love that game. And over the years, I continued to play Pokemon games as they came out. I liked the anime. I watched the movies, uh, or well, some of them, like the the one, the Mewtwo one way back. Um, over the years, I've played almost every mainline Pokemon game and a lot of the spinoffs. And it just seems that the newer entries just can't seem to hold my interest as long enough and engage me like they used to. I don't know how much of that is it's the same formula over and over again. How much of it is just me being able to put a little less time into games as I get older. Uh, I don't know what exactly it is, but it just seems like the standard formula has come a little bit or become a little bit stale. Yeah. But this game throws all of that aside. This doesn't follow the standard formula. There aren't gyms. There's no Elite Four. There's none of that. You are thrown years into the past, and it it's not top-down and 2D. It's, it's something completely different. This is the game that we all dreamed about for 10 to 15 years. Back when the Nintendo 64 was around, and we saw Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. The first time we saw Pokemon in 3D models, and... I don't know if you did, but at least I imagined, oh, what, what could this be like in a fucking big open world? A full console Pokemon game. And that's something that I feel like everyone wanted uh, as the Switch came out. We thought, whoa, what could this mean for Pokemon? And then we got Let's Go, which was sort of, it was better. It was, it was different. I enjoyed Let's Go. Some people didn't, but it just wasn't, I don't know. It's kind of a mix of the main Pokemon games and like uh, Pokemon Go, obviously, with the catch mechanic. And then Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, and that we you had the the wild area, um, and it looks like that was a little bit closer to what we wanted, but it still wasn't. And I don't know if everyone had got like this, but at least personally, I just sort of come to accept. Well, I'm never gonna get the Pokemon game that I really want. I'm never gonna get that open world RPG where you're running around in the fields, like exploring, looking for Pokemon finding things, discovering things in the world. But now we do. This game is just so different. From the first time you step foot into the world, it feels honestly a little off. It feels weird. Because you're running, you're walking around in third person in a Pokemon universe. feels wrong but so right at the same time and it's great and i know right now you're probably thinking wait a second i didn't click on a review for pokemon legends arceus i thought this was a nuzlocke or something what what's 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 going on here so the thing is i've put in probably about 50 hours into the game at this point i got it on release Played the hell out of it over the first weekend, and then have been continually playing more. And I've been wanting to start a new playthrough, uh, just to do something a little bit different and have a little bit of fun with it. I'm still going to continue my current one because I'm in the post game, and there are still things for me to do. I am not done with all the side quests. I have not completed the Pokedex. Um, I imagine I still have a good 20, 30 hours that I will sink into that easily, maybe more. As I was playing through the game, however, I had an idea. 
you see, I noticed there are these quests that you have to do that you turn in a Pokemon to a specific person. And when you do, not every single one, but most of them, it will say, are you sure you wish to give up this Pokemon or something along those lines? And when you do, that Pokemon is given to them and then shows up in the world next to them and remains there for the in or remainder of the game. So I thought it'd be really cool to fill them with either shiny or alpha Pokemon. So you had this entire world, uh, I mean, especially the village because the, the main village, there's a hub world called Jubilife City, Jubilife Village, sorry that you visit nonstop. And that's where most of these quests are, um, but there are some elsewhere in the world that you have to do. I thought it'd be really cool if every time you went in there, it's just filled with shiny Pokemon. But I thought, if I'm gonna do that, then I might as well make some sort of uh, Let's Play series out of it. And if I'm gonna do that, then why not make it some sort of Nuzlocke-esque challenge? If you're not familiar, a Nuzlocke is a type of Pokemon run with a self-imposed set of rules. Typically, there are um, a couple of standard rules that people follow, and then people will change it up and do their own variation on it, maybe add some rules, tweak some, change some, whatever. The standards are that you can only get the first Pokemon you run into in a, in a specific route, that any time a Pokemon dies or faints, uh, they must be released. And that you must nickname all of your Pokemon uh, to form a stronger emotional bond with them, essentially. To, ma to make it harder if they die and you have to get rid of them. This game, it's a little hard, though, to follow those rules because you have to catch Pokemon and a lot of Pokemon to complete the decks. If you don't do that, you're going to be seriously hindering yourself moving forward and not just, you know, in how well your team battles. You're not you're literally not going to be able to progress the game. And in addition to that, there aren't routes in this game. There's big open areas. And personally, as far as like the Pokemon feigning, uh, this game also, the, the battle system's a little bit different. And to be completely honest, I'm not that great. So if I did that, this would be a very bad playthrough. Um, and it would get boring very quickly because I would be wiped out in episode one or two and we'd have to call it a day. So I decided maybe I'll try what I'm gonna call an alpha shiny lock. So the rules of this would be, number one, my team can only consist of alpha and shiny Pokemon. Now, obviously you don't start with an alpha or shiny Pokemon. Your starter is actually shiny locked. So it's going to be a little bit before I can get either an alpha or a shiny. So my starter is exempt from this for a portion of the game. I know that we should be able to get an alpha around level 12-ish. I think that's the first one that'll pop up. Um, and then I think there's another one around level 16. Maybe we'll get lucky with shinies before then. So it shouldn't be too bad, um, but we will have our starter for a little bit. Rule number two, all normal Pokemon, meaning not alpha, not shiny, can be caught, but only for the Pokedex. As soon as I get to town, they must be released. Mythical and legendary Pokemon are exempt from this. If I do get them, they will be exempt and I'm going to keep them um, and not use them until after the credits roll. Uh, maybe keep them around for Pokedex completion purposes because literally every Pokemon has um, a Pokedex which you have to complete by doing things with or around that Pokemon. Number three, if I encounter a shiny alpha, I must do everything in my power to catch them and they will remain on my team until the credits roll. Rule number four, quest turn-ins must be shiny so that my town looks beautiful. The last and final rule, if I black out or if all of my team is wiped out, because you can have your team wiped out without blacking out, 
then one of my team members must be chosen at random and be sacrificed. That's it. That's the alpha shiny lock. And I am going to play through. Um, I'm going to try to not spoil the game. Uh, I'm going to treat this as somewhat of a let's play slash uh, Nuzlocke-esque run. It's like I said, it's not a typical Nuzlocke, but a little something different. Um, so like I said, try not to spoil anything. Uh, we'll go through and play through the story like normal and we'll see what we can find. And then hopefully we have a Jubilee village that is full of beautiful shiny Pokemon and a team full of alphas by the end. Hopefully shiny alphas or at least one. I'd like to get at least one shiny alpha. That would be awesome. But we'll see. So let's get started. Oh, I'm excited. I got to experience this game before, once before, obviously. I played through it. It's just so good. I'm so, so, so excited to do it again. Oh, God. Let's go. English. Oh, I need to turn up the uh, volume. Hold on. All right, there we go. I think it'll be the same either way for you guys, but for me. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Side note, I prefer to say Arceus, but I am trying to say Arceus because they changed the pronunciation of it after the initial marketing. I assume because arse. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to say Arceus, but it, it'll happen. I'm, I will say Arceus at some point. I might have already at some point earlier when I was um, talking about the game. Anyways. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Alright, so I'm a basic-ass white boy. What is thy name? Um... Should I just go with blue? Hmm... Yeah. We'll just go with blue. Blue. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Blue. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Gotta catch them all, guys. He told me. God himself. Ah. Can you imagine just rake, waking up, just floating through fucking space like this? Hey, give me my phone. I need that. I'm glad they chose a good color for the phone, though. I thank you for bestowing this great phone onto me. Good sir.
Pokemon Legends Arceus. Wake up! Oh! Do wake up, won't you? Are Pokemon talking? Are you alive, my boy? This motherfucker. Nice hat, bro. Beanie. <laughs> that really does seem like an odd choice for a professor. Like, look at his clothing. He's walking around with these goofy ass fucking pants and fucking jacket over it, and then this purple ass beanie with a some sort of fucking poof on it. You gave me quite the shock, my boy. Falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? Uh, I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come on, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it, buddy. I don't know shit. I don't know where the fuck I am. I saw a big glowing dude that gave me a phone. Which I don't know if I even have at this point. I'm just lost in the world. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? You seem to, or do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I doubt it, buddy. So, you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, buddy, I don't know what to do. That dude looks as fucking confused and scared as I am. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew! Foom! Plish plash! What the fuck? Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just gotten caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of that sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Uh, do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, buddy. The fuck do you think I am? Been doing this shit for 20 years, longer than I've been alive. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and uh, what might your name be? I'm Blue, too. Oh, cool, so you're called Blue. That name has quite a ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, such as these. Oh. Uh. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. In the middle of that whole discussion with that professor, I decided that I want the name Blue 2 instead. Especially so that if I end up eventually ever trading Pokemon um, away and then to my other um, save, that they will have the right names. Oh, I can't even trade though. So I don't have a Nintendo account. Or does it work? Can I share? Doesn't matter. I'm restarting real quick, naming them the same. See you back in a few minutes. Oh, so you're called Blue Two. That name has to be has quite the ring to it. I imagine must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor, you see. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking Pokemon or seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these here. The what? Oh. oh! These little fuckers keep running off! Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg of you, my boy. Wait, you three, wait! 
All right, let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay. This is so crazy. So the the first time I loaded into this, I remember just running around like this and being in complete awe. Oh, shit. My phone. My arc phone. There's a glowing, beeping object over there. Oh, yeah, they haven't told me it's called an arc phone yet. My bad. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. Feel strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I'm like, bestow upon the this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. All right, all right. Like I was saying, though, I remember just running around here, and it just feels so weird, like, running around in third person with full control over the camera, and, like, looking around, and just knowing that it's a Pokemon universe. It feels so weird. Ah. Oh. Alas, yet another miss. Ah, oh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching the little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. See, in my old age, I just can't manage to throw a ball for a damn. I'd love to give er, to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first, eh? Now that one, that's Rowlet. Well, it can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Crew. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. I'm just wandering around. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oshawott is so fucking cute. Plish plash. That's what he sounds like. Oh ma, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50 Pokeballs. That seems like such a big number. Like, normally they give you 5 or 10. Like, holy shit. That right there was the first engagement. Like, oh, wait a second. Something's a little different here. This is a different game. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down into minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. You see, Pokeballs are a recent invention. Throw one of them at Pokemon and, why, the Pokemon will just shrink down and fit right inside, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be grateful. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple, actually. So far, be it from me to say so. I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area, it's okay, buddy. We'll get your Pokemon back. I promise. We have to catch all three for him. Oh. Oh, wonderful. You caught a Pokemon. It seems you have quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Blue 2. Jolly useful skill to have around here, if I do say so myself. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Well, you see, sir. I've got a bit of a history with them. Uh, I might be from the future. I don't know. Is that? Oh yeah, that's Rowlet. Grab him from behind. 
I love that you can like throw like you're throwing at a Pokemon and then you just kind of go do your thing like right now it's breaking you away because of this cutscene but that's not how the game actually is it's so fluid I can hardly believe it blue too incredible you know many people fear to even approach Pokemon never mind to catch them bravo indeed just one more go let's wrap this up shop shall we Oh, there he is. Get back here. Get in the ball. You got out? Ah, uh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, little buddy. Oh, no, he saw me. No, 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 no. Don't battle. No. Oh. We're not gonna talk about that. Hey, bud, I got them all. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the fields call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in this region. But, in order to properly document a Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. You see, I'm not very good at that. Therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with such a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and mine is to have all these Pokemon caught. Situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. Let's rule this world. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your log lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Oh cool, a dark, ominous uh, fucking storm above the volcano. That's gotta be good, right? Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good godsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. <laughs> I look so worried and confused. Look at his fucking face. Seriously? He's like, uh... What am I doing here? Where the fuck did I come from? Why do you want me to fucking help you with these Pokemon things? What is this phone? Who are these people? Why is there a giant fucking thing above the volcano over there? Looks like the whole world's about to collapse. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition team. This road we're on now is known as the locals as Kanala Avenue. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's so much to do, and yet not many do it. And since we know so little, the local people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Now that impressive building up ahead is the Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. I like how they're just like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Why is he here? He's ugly. His clothes are weird. Oh, bothered it. Botheration. I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the center? You say center? Just past this bridge here and then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Bluetooth here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex, you see. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? 
You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Captain Celine? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am Captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped to secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like you to, he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Huh. You look to be 15 or so? Quite old enough for work to, or to work for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. But if you failed the trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. She really does not have the confidence in me that the professor does. Captain Celine's somewhat like Hisui in that where they're both quite harsh. No, no, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we can fall out on the futons while we sleep. It's a good thing one can fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. <laughs> and with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky. People have fallen from it. This world is full of mysteries. <laughs> Bidoof. The barrel. Did it hit? Oh, it hit that tree. The next day. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selena's is waiting. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lines and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon... Oh no. She was based... Oh no. But catching three Pokemon, that's impossible. No one's ever done that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must provide beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchel to carry whatever you may need into the field. Otherwise, you're on your own. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Trying to say I got no style? Akari. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes wary. So she's gonna protect me. Cool. Press the Y button while controlling the map on your ARC phone and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types of... There are two types. Missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure. All requests are optional and given to by people you meet. Pardon, Blue 2. Come with me a moment. Now then, jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and we'll simply survive in this unforgiving land, Blue 2 absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon myself, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. We're gonna get our very own Pokemon. Go on, Blue 2. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These darlings are very dear to me. 
for it's plain to see they're rather curious about you, and you handled yourself quite well. Which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own, hmm? Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? No, I do not. Rowlet. So I went with Rowlet in my normal first playthrough. Um, he's pretty dope, but I think I'm going to have to go with Oshawott for this one. Splash, splash. You want Oshawott as your first partner? Yes, I do. Give him to me. He's so cute. Look at that face. Put a smile on, buddy. Come on. And with that, one of the Pokemon you've caught at the Prelude Beach. At Prelude Beach for me, it will now be yours to keep. Prelude Beach, really? Really? Good show. I've tucked Oshawa back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. I wonder, is it, a, is it male or female? He said it. Word of advice, my boy, I pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contains Pokemon when you're out in the field. Hmm. A little bit of foreshadowing there. That's him being like, hey, dumbass. You know how sometimes you just randomly throw Pokeballs out at things and then you wasted your Pokeball? Maybe you shouldn't do that. Because I definitely do that. I have the wrong thing out and click on the wrong or set shoot out Pokeball. Throw it at a fucking tree. Like, really? I hope they're not upset that I didn't pick them. They look as if they're cheering their friend Oshawa on. Perhaps they're jealous that he gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Blue 2 fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my own research for now. So now we have to go do our trial to prove to Captain Celine that we are worthy of being here. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Obsidian Fieldland. The doof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends to not run from people, so this should be easy. Sup, bud? You were right, that was easy. You caught a Badoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. There's a Starly. They're little skittish creatures. They'll run a startle. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Sneak up behind this little guy. Quiet. Don't want to startle him. Got him. Try throwing your Pokemon's balls at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. All right, so real quick, look at that. Got some Oran berries. Oh, he saw me. All right. Can't even see him. Oh shit! Ow, that hurt. Okay. I love that you can move around in battle. Reposition yourself however you want. I love how seamless. Well, it doesn't. It's not as seamless right now because I'm in the tutorial. But normally, it is so seamless going in and out of battle. Like you stay because you stay in the world. It just puts this overlay on top of the screen. 
Uh, we'll tackle once more and then we should be able to catch. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Nah, he got him. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. Look at her mouth just wide open. There's so many times in this game where either the, the main character or one of the side ones like this, they just have this fucking look on their face like, You go into a cutscene and your character's just walking up like. You're like, what the fuck? You post those Pokemon without a hint of fear and call each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. I am. I really am. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. Uh, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it with flying colors. This is yours, the official uniform for the Survey Corps. Ooh. Received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. All right, let's go get dressed. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an intruder. Who literally fell out of the blue. Out of the what now? The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a potential, or as a portent of disaster. But you pass the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex! But I warn you, Blue 2. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. This way to the craft work, Blue 2. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village as the base camps to craft Pokeball and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Alright, let's get some Pokeballs. We'll craft 20. Oh ho, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Got our Pokedex. I love that the Pokedex in this game is literally a notebook with pictures like polaroids in it you go in here we got a little picture of oshawa rowlet cyndaquil togepi the tooth starly and shing then you can see so each one has individual tasks so for oshawa we've got to catch them uh see it use aqua jet water pulse slash strong moves agile moves and evolve them Okay. 
I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all Pokemon there are in this great region. You'll have a complete, or you'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me too, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be happy to help explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good blue two. Hey, excuse me. Uh, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. People have something to ask will have a request icon displayed above their head. If you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. So this is the very first side quest that requests a Pokemon. So this is the first shiny that we will, well, not the first one we'll probably get, but the first quest that we have that we need to eventually find a shiny for. Hey! So there's this Pokemon called Wormple. Have you heard of it? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon. He told me that after a Pokemon gained a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. And so I decided I wanted to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. We need to get a purple, actually, a purple Wurmple. All right. Oh, we should probably get all these quests in the area. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to complete that Pokedex book you're working on, right? Well, on your way, you kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. So I've heard. But when I see Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Alright, so we need to catch some Starly, fight some Starly, all that good stuff. Alright, easy enough. Those ears. Hmm. No, I can't recall them. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. So keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. So now this is one that I'm actually not sure if we, if he keeps the Pokemon or if we're just showing it to them. We can tell once we go to turn it in, it'll ask us if we're sure that we want to give them that Pokemon. So those are the ones that we absolutely must use Shinies for. If they don't ask us if we're sure, it's safe to give them any Pokemon. Righto. Let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Research tasks are tasks that you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you focus on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. One last piece of advice, Bluetooth. You see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way. Dodge like your life depends on it, because it does. 
Dodge? Here, watch closely, and remember what I do so you can do it later. Huh. Them skills. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security corps had to collect me when I got the business knocked out of some shink. The security corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some shinks of thundershock. But don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Follow a car and learn some tips for carrying out research tasks. Now, let me share some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, and then press the down button to open up the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, and then four, and then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon? Remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have an item out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Alright. Let's see here. We're going to need to catch some of these dudes, so we might as well just do it now. Let's check the Pokedex and see what we gotta do. We need to catch... Um, okay, so real quick here. On the left-hand side, you see those arrows pointing up? That means that you get double points for them. So we're currently at research level zero here with Bidoof, um, but that's because we haven't turned in anything to the professor yet. As you can see, though, we do have one item completed. We've caught one Bidoof, um, and as we catch more, it'll mark these up. Uh, each of the lit-up uh, rectangles on the right-hand side there those indicate a research level point, essentially. And the ones with the up arrows give you double. So right now, if we were to turn this in, we would have two research level because we have one of the doubles. Now I'll go catch a couple more and maybe defeat some, and then we'll turn in at some point and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, right, let's. we're gonna catch three and then we will battle a couple. Uh, oh yeah, hit X so we can see move info. So I sometimes forget the typing of certain Pokemon or strengths and weaknesses. What's cool is that this game will show you before you even register them in your Pokedex, the very first time you fight them, if a move is effective or not. Um, and we can also, for the very first time in a Pokemon game, see the move order by pressing Y. So on the right here, uh, you can see Oshawa, Badoof, Oshawa, Badoof, Oshawa, Badoof. And later on, we'll have ways to alter that uh, to make myself go two times or use a strong move. And then the other Pokemon will get to go two times. Let's see, pretty cool though. First time we've had that in a Pokemon game. All right. So tackle. So these are both. Um, physical attacks. Defeated Badoo. We'll go get the, this medical leak. Oh, what's she gonna do? What do you got to tell me, lady? I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your polka dots. Pokedex, polka dots. Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Just ZL then down. Try checking out your tasks for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try or for that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch me once you finish their tasks. Okay. 
Let's see what our tasks are for Starly. I really wish you could target them from farther away. Like, right now I still... Oh, come on. It sort of like that, that circle will show up, and that's when you can target them. But right now I'm not close enough to target it, no matter what I do. Oh, there it is. Damn it. It's, it's kind of weird. All right, let me just get in here. All right. So for this one, I need to... Let's try to catch at least three... Um, we'll do those without being spotted, and then if we defeat one or two, we'll be good. All right. Caught two. Caught three. I love that you can throw out your Pokeball to, like, multiple like that. And, like, I went and picked up some other random item while those were catching and they could either catch or get out and it's just so fucking fluid and great i can hit this here and he's doing his thing and i go out and do whatever and then he collects it and just comes back to me it's so good like look at this watch what's that oh look come over here there's a little shrink do my thing okay my oshawott's almost leveled up How's my... I need to catch another Bidoof, right? Or no? So let's try to catch three more. Um, and hopefully at least one or two of them will be heavy. And then we will defeat one more. And then I think that'll be enough to get us to level 10 with him already. Oh shit, he's right there. Um... All right, we're level nine there. Let's see what she has for us now. Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle with it and catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Take further damage, or after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Now remember, if I black out, we sacrifice one Pokemon at random from our team. Which means that if we were to, or to black out right now, we would have no team because... Oshawa is my only team member, even though I have the others technically on my team. They're not really my team members. After And speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead. You take care of some of Buizel's research tasks, and then come talk to me. All right, so let's do some of these weasel tasks. Let's go see what our research tasks are for this little dude. Catch them, large species, defeated. Both catch and defeat are um, double points. Electric type moves, time you've seen it use aqua jet. All right. Oh, what else do I need to do with him? Uh, one more. Let's just catch one more. Oh, come on, please be heavy too. Be a heavy boy. Nope. Just normal. Oh shit, it was! Let's go, oh, okay. I'll take that. Can 
Nej, det er den. Ja. Yeah, eat that food up. Oh, he saw me. Oh, come on, neither of them? Oh shit, I gotta fight them both? Okay. Potion real quick. down to one thank god remember while we technically have like four pokemon on our team there's only one guy we're allowed to use it's a little buddy luckily he's like three times their level now because i'm solely been using him makes it a little easier Was he sleeping? He is. Just stay asleep, little buddy. Yeah. All right, let's go turn in our tasks to Akari. Man, I want the pony shell. Okay, let's go fight him. Hold on, I saw this over here. This game has... is really good at... or bad, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Like... distractions. Like, I will constantly be doing something and then just veer off path to go check out something else I see, and then it leads to something else. And then half hour later, I'm like, oh, yeah, I was doing that one thing. I should probably get back to that soon. And then 45 minutes more go by of me doing some other random thing, and then I finally go back to do the original thing I was doing. Cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish and can report. I have 24 that I can report. Let's fucking go. Uh, do we have enough with... Yeah, we do, okay. Er... No, we're one away. Alright, I'm gonna turn it in like this just so I can show you what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go to Professor Leventon. Got him. Alright, let's catch one more since that's what we need for our research task and then we'll go turn in. Come on. Getting the ball. Yeah. Go. Alright. All right, so, ooh, nice. So we, we already got Oshawott up to level 10, which is fantastic for this playthrough uh, because soon we won't be able to use them anymore. But, so notice here, I've only completed five things, but all five of those are double. They have the arrows over there. So you get two points for each of those. So that got me instantly to research level 10, which is the max that you can get. Now, I can keep completing the um research tasks here and i will still get credit for them but my research level is maxed 
All right, so here, Badoof, notice I have three of the double points number of caught, so that's six points. And then I have one point for number of heavy specimen, one point for number of defeated, and one point for number of different forms you've obtained. So that's nine in total. Um, Starly, we're at level 8. Shinx, level 9. Ooh, Shinx, we're real close on. Weasel, 6. Wormple, 3. Okay. Nice! We got enough. Just barely. You made good progress on these research tasks, Blue 2. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Hmm. You've made progress. Seems you've earned yourself a star. With this, you've officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Yeah, let's go. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds, then. If you've caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Ah, we got access to the pastures now. Now we get rid of our team. Sort of. Meet Akari at the training grounds? Oh, well, let's get rid of our team first. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? Sort of. More so, I would like to send them all back. I do not like having these little critters with me. And it's not not good. I only like this Oshawa, the one that I was given upon arriving here. And the rest of these Pokemon are not good enough for me. They are just not pretty enough, not shiny enough, and not big enough. Um, how do I release? Release. Oops. Wait, did I not get anything for them? Release. Release. Dang, I thought... Oh, maybe it's only once you get mass release later on that you get stuff for them? I cannot wait to get access to the multi-select because this would be really annoying having to manually do every single time. Oops. All right. So now we just have our Oshawa, no other Pokemon. Listen, I've had an epiphany. And that is? You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Yes. Here's my partner, Pikachu. Huh? Yeah. When we were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner's refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Big uh. But when I saw how you and your partner Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. What's up, Pikachu? That hurt a lot. All 
Alright, so I get two moves here, though. So let's raise my offensive and use a potion. Get me up to max. Come on, buddy! Watch out, watch out! Woo. For a second, I thought this was gonna end awkwardly early. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. Jesus Christ. Thanks for battling us. Could be wrong, but for a moment I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Big ah! Uh... Guess I was wrong, man. So you're the one? The new recruit everyone's talking about? The name's Zizu, captain of the security corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zizu is a member of the ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash the move in Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for each given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. You should come as well once you've readied your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu if you'd like. Fortunately, we only have one Pokemon um, and we're not really allowed to use him for very long, so I don't think we need to worry about what his moves are. All right. Go to the Obsidian Field Lands. We should probably craft some stuff first. Pokeballs. Can we make heavy? Oh, we need Tumble Stones. So let's make... Make like 20 more of these. We'll make some of those once we can. Alright, so we want to try and find some of those black Tumble Seeds. Tumble Seeds? Tumble Stones? Um, as soon as we can. Because those will give us Heavy Balls. And I feel like we're definitely going to need a stronger type of Pokeball to catch um, our first alpha. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. You're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create the Pokedex as they all are. You might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. I've got this real great mushroom recipe, see? Yeah, see? Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching poke or catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give you a go give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh! And you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One spongy mushroom or springy mushroom is all you'll need. I'll be waiting.
Do I already have one? No. I think we're close to getting our first alpha. Hmm, that marvelous rich tone. How was it produced? I must know. Oh, uh, hello. I didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps? Wonderful, just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me. So I, er, uh, I mean, we can uncover the truth. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first- Oh! Oh, look at you! You should be fine. Go on, then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. Over here! May, this is Blue, too. My, my. A new face in the village? Not that it matters to me if you're new. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me May. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is, do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. I do. A critical leap. Come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh no, items. Alright, we gotta heal. Alright, we got this. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy but buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should provide to be useful materials. Nice, I can make revives now. Morning Dew, bud. is used as a material for crafting items that can restore vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one of them. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It is a large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? Your art phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? Hey, look at this. He's like, uh... Hold on. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at it. Hey, there's me. Hey, look. Hey, look at it. It's, it's me and me. My, my, there's some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show you the way to deer track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there. I know it. Seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask. Do you already know about Almi Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? Say who? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It is said to have created a ver this very universe using its power over time's flow. 
and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live here and thrive. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away the world. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our side. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh. And it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graces the Attract Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Make your way to Deer Track, Deer Track Heights, where an alpha Pokemon is causing trouble. Okay. Here's the thing, guys. I'm scared. Uh, we don't want to fuck up this first alpha. Um, When I went against him on my first playthrough... I tried to catch him and could not. But I don't think that's an actual limitation. I don't think it's impossible to catch him. I think I just didn't and gave up. So, um, my plan here is to power level just a little bit before we go up to him. Um, and to have some heavy balls ready and some pokeballs ready. And we'll see what we can do. Because we can't have an alpha shiny lock without an alpha or a shiny, you know? Bjorn. Oh there, mind helping a guy out? After some cherry berries, you know? The shiny red ones? They grow on some of the trees around here. I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs or a berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokemon you throw has a Pokemon in it, mind. Be a shame if you waste an empty ball. If you hand me three cherry berries you get, I'll help you with another handy tip. Alright, um... Go here. There we go, we got cherry berries for days. Hey bro, I got some berries for you. That phase. Oh! Could you give me three of those cherry berries you have there? Sure, here you go. You handed over three cherry berries. Thanks. Now then, here's a handy tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try here on some of the cricket out around here? Bro, I literally just did that twice. What the fuck kind of tip is that, man? Oh, I'm so disappointed. At least he gave me some Pokeballs. That was the real reward there. To be honest. Get this Geo dude though. We can. All right, catch some heavy. If he use a bunch of moves, defeat with water or grass. Does he not give a shit about food? Oh no, he's going for it. Okay. <gasps> he got out. Okay. Come here, bud. Let's fight. You wanna go, punk? Gonna knock your ass out. That's what you get. Should've stayed in that ball, motherfucker. I, uh, I also, I both love and hate how the multi-battles work in this game. The fact that you can just throw a Pokemon into a battle or be attacked by Pokemon. Well, I guess you can't really be it. Yeah. Either way, you can get into battle with multiple like this. Um, and it can really fuck you up or complicate things. If I wouldn't have been... Um, 
like had su a super effective move against use against these guys, I wouldn't have done it. See, even now I missed because now he's hard to hit and he's probably gonna fuck me up. No, okay, we'll use a potion. There we go. I'm thinking if we battle our way up to the spot, we might just be high enough. Oh. I was gonna say, if we just battle our way up there, we might be high enough level to take it on and not worry about it too much and not have to farm or grind to farm ourselves the right level. But if Starly's just gonna run away like that, makes it a little more difficult. Shit. Oh yeah, when the when the rocks or the trees are shaking, they have a Pokemon in them. Shit. Is that that's the evolved form of uh Starly? I didn't know we could get those this early. Oh shit. Maybe we can't. Sand the ball. Yeah, let's go with we'll Staravia. Level 17? Damn, okay. And a fucking Stantler up here? Um. Go after the berry, bud. Stand the ball, stand the ball. Yeah, let's go. It's kind of weird because this is a very different way to play the game. Like any of these that I catch, like it's exciting, like to see them for the first time and to work out as their Pokedex. But like I, they're not my gonna be my team, so it's a little, it's weird. Can't use any of them soon though. the fuck? Oh my god. That was weird. I I didn't realize what that was on the ground. It looked almost like a person laying down. Shit, it's level 14. Uh Honestly, we're just going to run from this. I don't want to deal with him right now. God, I love this fucking game. Like, just wandering around. I don't have a clue where I am. I don't know if I've literally ever been here on my other playthrough that I have like 50 hours in the game. More shanks. Oh, it's funny, you know, um, shanks is actually the Pokemon that I have caught the most shinies of in my other playthrough. I have, um, well, I guess I should say the Shinx family, the Shinx line. I have caught two shiny Shinx and one shiny Luxio, all full odds. Um, or maybe not completely full odds in that I had the decks I might have had the decks leveled up for them, um, but they were not in mass outbreaks. Ooh, shiny over there. Or not shiny, but I'll tell you what, that's a, um, that's just a rock that's, um, 
sparkling, I guess is the word I should use. And the very first time I saw one of those, it was a it was a red one um, in my other playthrough. And I swear, I thought it was a shiny. I was so excited. I stopped everything. I saved. I slowly creeped up to it. And by the time I got there, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This is not a Pokemon. This is a fucking rock. I wish... I kind of wish they would um, use a different, like, animation for that or something. But, I mean, it works, but... I really need to go get healed up um, because I'm almost out of Aqua Jet. I keep forgetting that I can just sort of like teleport back. Um, I don't need to run all the way. A lot of times I do run just because like it's so much. Really? I caught that dude too? How? It's just so much fun to run around and explore and find things and get distracted by random shit. Alright, I'm just gonna um, run all the way back. I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna run all the way back so I can collect some stuff along the way uh, for me to craft with. When I get back to town. And then we will go to town. We will drop off the Pokemon that we have. Uh, we will craft some stuff. And then we will come back and try to take on that alpha and see what happens. Am I going in the complete wrong direction? I am. I am. Okay. Dang, a level 16 can't tackle to beat a level 2? What the fuck? That's fucked up. Shit. Stay in the ball. Fuck. so night nice. I just need one more nice there we go okay now let's get back okay we can just actually teleport back um me. I keep actually I've said that multiple times now uh, and I keep getting distracted with other things like I just about did there it's only 86 meters away now I guess I'll just run yeah sure we'll report these guys caught him first time using a back strike different Pokemon making money Oh, seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look then, shall we? Mm hmm I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with these entries. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm What would you like to do now? Let's go back to the village. Let's turn in some of our quests. I have... Hmm, wait one moment. Male and female star, they have different appearances? Let's see. The markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read this Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. Not a Pokemon in the world is so adorable as Starly, I tell you. See, here's... Hmm, okay. We're going to test this out right now. 
Because I think she's one where you just literally show them a Pokemon. And those ones won't go in the town. Will you show me a Starly? So we have one on us. I should have saved right before, just in case. If this fucks up and she keeps it, I'm going to be so sad and have to restart. <sighs> the smooth curl of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Why, hello there, Starly. Want to touch it? No. I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps might actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly. At the same time, I must thank you for showing me that sweet Starly. Some people will show a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know? Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Please still be in my inventory. Please still be in my inventory. Please still be in my inventory. Okay, yeah, so I had three up here, and it's still there. So, we're safe. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, any any quests like that where it's just like, hey, I want to see this Pokemon, and it's not, go catch me a Pokemon to give to me? Um, These ones, I I feel comfortable using regular uh, Pokemon for him. If you disagree, let me know. Um, I can change, I guess, partway through, and only use Shinies for those as well. But I, the original intent of this was so that shinies can be all throughout the village. Um, and if we're not handing it over, then I, in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily matter. But let me know what you think. And let's get rid of all these guys. Hey there, Bluetooth. The Pokemon you just released now left a little something behind for you. Take it, would you? A sack of grit gravel and seven sacks of grit dust. Okay. All right, I definitely want to make some of these. So let's make, I can make 24 of them. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have 40. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and make 20 of these. Okay. I used to think if you directly hit a Pokemon with a Pokeball, it would only go into battle with that single one, even if there are multiple nearby. I don't believe that's the case anymore. Um, and obviously you can see it right there. But I thought, I don't know. I thought maybe that at least has something to do with it. I don't know. Oh shit, Oshawa can evolve now. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna have him evolve to make this fight a little easier. It can't, what do you mean it can't evolve right now? Oh, is it because he was still out? Oshawa is ready to evolve. Do it. Our first evolution. Hey buddy, congratulations, your Oshawa evolved into Dewa. 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 Nice. That gave him uh almost I gave him about 40, almost 45 extra HP. That'll help. Alright. Let's try it. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. The weird sound. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb peace with its wreck. 
Oh, that dude's pretty dope. And that's why you're here, or that's what you're here for, Blue 2. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder alpha little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Blue 2. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon has some strong moves at its disposal. <sighs> Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Of course they do. Of course they appear to be very difficult to catch, because that's exactly what I need to do. Understood. This is my test. I want to be the very best. Alright. Oh yeah, we just have to actually physically walk up. All right, 1v1, bro. Let's go. Yep, action order. Okay. Come on. Come on. Catch him, catch him. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball. First try, really? Are you fucking kidding me? I'll take it. I swear, the first time I played through on my other save, I threw so many balls at him and could not catch him. And I gave up and killed him. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. What in the world? The great weird ear. He looks upon you with kindness, Blue Two. I'd say the great weird ear has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Laventon. Blue too. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Blue Two carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adaman and the commander myself, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The Great Weirdy has taken a liking to Blue 2 as well. This is a good sign. You may have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. All right. If 
we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have the base camp set up once the construction core arrives. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the Wallflower? We got our level tell level twelve cricketune. The first official member of our team. There he is. 168 pounds, eight foot two. Oh, he's fucking tall. Jesus, he's all, he's like three times the size of uh, Duat. Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by Pokemon or powerful lightning, yes? I did hear it's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, it further if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Blue 2 here can handle things just fine. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver's so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. She's a skeptic, I get it, but... No, no. You forget that the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them yet, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and about, on and about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be a descend or descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. This is Blue Two, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Aha! I hear from May you earned Weird Ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, and if you if you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Plural Clans. Understood? 
Join me downstairs, Blue Two. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives in Deer Track Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. So this is actually one of the other ones that we will be delivering eventually as a shiny. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Laventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Bluetooth. I understand you've been rec requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But, as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's far trickier opponent than even the most aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course I do. Very well. And let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Bluetooth, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world and a whole other the world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So, you fell through the space-time rift that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been swimming in its divine might. I sort of was. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Ottoman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too. But it's hard for them to come right out and ask for those of the Galaxy Team, or for help from the Galaxy Team, of all people. And truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl, Pearl Clan, but still. We've ought to... We've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. It's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be bleed blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adaman and my or May weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study Poke and perhaps even Quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward the Grand Tree Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. All right. And I think that's going to be a good spot to end this first episode. Um, we caught our very first alpha. Oh, I need to show him. Oh my God, I haven't even got him out in battle yet. There he is. Oh my God, look at him next to do what? <laughs> He's so much bigger. But yeah, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. We have caught our very first alpha and are on our way. Um, 
hopefully in the next episode we can catch another one maybe get our first shiny um so i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do with uh do what yet i said before that once i got my first alpha i would decide and i think i'm gonna wait until the next episode to figure that out um i guess let me know if what you guys think down below if i should keep him or get rid of him for now i think i will go ahead and throw him into my pasture um just so he's there and safe and then if i decide to get rid of him for good i will um or i might just keep him there just you know sentimental value cricket is just straight bug with some grass and flying might be a little rough but I don't know um let me know what you think so yeah uh thanks for watching um if you have any comments or suggestions or anything feel free to leave them down below um like subscribe all that good crap you know the the youtube stuffs and i'll see you next time